Hi everybody and welcome to the TWF Friday Night Smackdown and today and today we're going to have that coffin match that return match between Bray, between Bray Wyatt and The Undertaker and as you can see we got the referee outside to make sure that to make sure that the opponent does go in the coffin. This coffin does not have a lid, so you gotta drop your opponent into the coffin to win this one. Now, let's recap a little bit, people, about how the feud between Bray Wyatt and The Undertaker and Zena got started. Back around August or so, maybe even July. Well, let's go back around August. Bray Wyatt, Zena, Ray Wyatt made two responses to Xena on the KWF YouTube channel and also made and also made the two responses on CK Smith 08, Mr. CK Smith 08 YouTube channels. By the way, go check out the, the KWF, check out CK Smith 08 and Mr. CK Smith YouTube channels. And the KWF website as well. Anyway. Zena made two responses to Bray Wyatt on her YouTube channel. And after that, everything seemed to be fine. Then Bray Wyatt showed up and made a response to The Undertaker. He made multiple responses to The Undertaker and attacked The Undertaker on several occasions and even got a victory over The Undertaker. But today, folks, today might be a different story. Today might be a different story because I'm happy to say that The Undertaker and Paul Bear got the urn back from Bray Wyatt. So now, so now it's time to bring out the opponents for the coffin match. And remember, if Bray Wyatt can defeat, remember if Bray Wyatt can defeat The Undertaker in his coffin match, then he automatically gets a return match against Xena sometime down the road. Nobody really knows exactly when he'll get a return match, but we know we'll get it. Promotional consideration paid for the challenge. Fresh greens, pico, avocado, and more. Chili's Fresh Mex bulbs, served with soup from our lunch combo menu, starting at just six bucks. And now you can enjoy lunch faster with tabletop pay and go. Only at Chili's.
down the aisle with his manager, Paul Bear, from Death Valley, California, Valley State. He is the Undertaker. And now the Undertaker making his way to the ring to first Ray Wyatt here in his coffin match. That was set up by the general manager of the Pro Wrestling Federation, Dina Boy. Okay. Deaning. The coffin match is underway here. And Bray Wyatt coming up to The Undertaker and doing a call the buzzard thing. The Undertaker got Bray Wyatt and choke slammed him. The Undertaker is going to try to make it quick here. The Undertaker putting Bray Wyatt up. Last ride powerbomb. Here it comes. The Undertaker got him. Tombstone pile driver. The Undertaker getting ready here. With all walking a tight rod in old school. Gray White in trouble here. Against the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Lord of Darkness, the Undertaker. The Undertaker, fine clothesline. You can tell the Undertaker is trying everything in his book to get a rip of, to put an end to Gray White here. Wait a minute. The Undertaker, oh, missed. Gray White. Got the Undertaker. What? Oh! The Orthodox clothesline he did. Spine Buster. The Undertaker. Now in trouble here. PDT by Bray Wyatt. Near the suplex. Bray Wyatt. Wants to try to get the Undertaker. Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt thinks he can beat the Undertaker. He thinks he can actually outdo the Phenom. The Lord of Dead Band and the Lord of Darkness. He's trying to put the Undertaker in the coffin. The Undertaker landed on his feet. He got Bray Wyatt by the throat and brought him back in the ring. The Undertaker is trying to. The Undertaker just. Oh, and Bray Wyatt just got the Undertaker and crap breaker. You can tell Bray Wyatt's starting to get very frustrated. But he's laughing at this. It's funny. Enter just rose up again and Bray Wyatt just closed on the back down. But he's saying something. False dead man. Come on, dead man. Come on, Phenom. Beat me. Well. Come on, Lord of Darkness. Defeat me. He's trying to put the Undertaker in the coffin again. The Undertaker, wait a minute. Paul Bigger on the apron, trying to strike Bray Wyatt. Uh oh, Bray Wyatt got Paul Bear. Oh, this is not good. He got him. The Undertaker. Nil, nil Bray Wyatt. The Undertaker now. Got him up. Tombstone Pile Driver. And he'll get ready. Here we go. He'll do it. The last ride power bomb. Gray Wyatt is just about to, oh, Pal Driver, what the, Gray Wyatt just came back with a Pal Driver on the Undertaker. Uh oh, he's going to do it to him. Sister Abigail on the Undertaker. Gray Wyatt's going to get ready to put the Undertaker in the coffin here. And if he does, wait a minute, there's a shot. Wait a minute, Xena just dropped in the ring. Shock him, she just knocked down Bray Wyatt with the shock run. I don't get this. I mean, I do get it. That, that Xena's one of Bray's, you know, one of Bray Wyatt's victims. And Gabrielle's got in the ring, she got her fighting stick. She knew Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt went down. There are no disqualifications in a coffin match. So technically, the general manager and the executive administrator interfering in the match is not a disqualification.
Both The Undertaker is down. Bray Wyatt's down. And The Undertaker just rose up. The Undertaker got Bray Wyatt in the coffin. Eeny, who is your winner of the coffin match? The Undertaker. So The Undertaker has defeated Bray Wyatt here in this coffin match. myself, Cena says. Now, some of you people are going to be quick to judge. And you're going to say, Zena, why did you go in the coffin match? Why did you help your friend, The Undertaker, beat Bray Wyatt? Because Bray Wyatt's been messing with me, Undertaker, been messing with me for, for a whole year, for a, two months. Just like he's been messing with The Undertaker. And me and The Undertaker have been friends since 1999 A.D. And as the general manager, I know that coffin matches have no disqualifications, no countouts, pinfall submissions don't count, do not have no pinfall submissions, only going in the coffin wins the match. So I'm in the right. So I don't, so Commissioner Godzilla and Chief, uh, Chief Brand Officer Diva talks and the Executive Vice Pre Executive, Chief Executive Officer Aladdin and Chief Operating Officer Princess Jasmine, the principal owners Perone and Eclipdor, and all the other executives, including Executive Vice President of Talent Relations, Feeder Long, the Creator Eric Bischoff, and Executive Vice President of Television Productions, you know, brother, you know, um, Jeff Garrett, they all know Hulk Hogan, I mean. and they all know the executive committee, the championship committee knows that I didn't technically do anything wrong. So Commissioner Godzilla is not going to come down here and say that I was a foul because he understands the rules. Now, Bray Wyatt, you lost to The Undertaker. You lost in a coffin match. But because I'm such a generous woman, and since I'm a very fair general manager, ask anybody. I'm a very fair general manager. I am going to give you, Bray Wyatt, one more, I'm going to give you your return match against me. So if you want to come down here and get in my face, that's just fine with me, Zena said, because I'm not scared of you. 
And we don't know where Bray Wyatt's at. The coffin was taken away with a minute. Will we actually hear or see him? <laughs> Xena, warrior princess, destroyer of nations. You interfered in my match against The Undertaker. You caused The Undertaker to beat me in a coffin match. <laughs> the Undertaker didn't beat me because I can't be defeated. The Undertaker only won the battle, but not the war, Xena. And as far as you're concerned, Xena, just because you interfered and helped The Undertaker beat me, don't make him a dead man, don't make him a phenom, and don't make him a lord of darkness. And just because you want to wrestle me, don't make you a warrior princess. It doesn't make you destroyer of nations. It makes you a fraud. We got a fraud going around saying that he's a dead man, a phenom, a lord of darkness. And now a fraud calling herself a warrior princess and destroyer of nations. Xena, this will come to an end. You've always amazed me, Xena. You beat a lot of people. You beat a lot of bad guys in your six-season television show. You beat multiple people in your mat in your comic book line and also in your free video game lines. But you never burst someone like me, Xena. I'm the eater of worlds. My sister Abigail is going to be proud of me because I will defeat you Xena and then you will hear this song he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands and Xena don't forget to follow the buzzards. <laughs> Bray, you're just doing the same crap you did before, Bray. Come down here, get in my face, and say you accept the challenge. I'm the general manager, and I'm the executive administrator, Gabrielle goes. You are not going to make disgusting, inappropriate video packages and then think you're spooking me out. You, get in this ring now, Mr. Wyatt. Boop, boop, boop. So, Xena, you want me in the ring. You want me to act to your challenge. Well, I accept the challenge, Xena, because I'm going to beat you, and your chakra and your sword ain't going to help you. And your daughter Gabrielle with her fighting staff or size or whatever she carries won't help her either. You two are nothing but pathetic lambs. You're nothing but a bunch of you're nothing but a bunch of sheep that don't have any shepherd to follow. But don't worry, Zena, you will follow the buzzer. <laughs> well, looks like that's all the time we got, folks, here for Friday Night Smackdown. We'll see you tomorrow for Explosion.